What's going on guys? I've had my hands on these buds live for just over a week now and I'm about to tell you my basically my opinion on them. What I would say straight away is they do get a few looks because they look a little bit different to your average buds. They don't have that normal style of buds similar to Huawei 3 Buds 3 with a little stem down or like some Apple AirPods. And they don't have that look. They look more like sort of an earplug type thing. I personally really like how they look. They look really cool and really different and I like how someone's doing something a little bit different with the style but some people don't seem to like it too much and say it looks I don't know a bit like a hearing aid but I like them and I think they look really cool especially in this colorway if you do buy these you do get a few funky looks every now and again people wondering what they actually are now I'm gonna pop them out for you I did have to charge these a few times but I guess I was using them fairly frequently I had them on sort of doing work and I uh, used them over the weekend and I used them in the gym as well and they did not fall out but that being said I did change the tip size to the larger tip size just because I felt like they felt a little bit more secure inside my ear and I wasn't too sure what to expect especially with one this size or how they would work because obviously with the little stem that you do get I don't know they feel a little bit more secure whereas these I wasn't too sure they were going to fall out of my ear slightly so I opted to put the bigger one in and just take that risk if you turn on these sort of active noise cancellation it does seem to like pull them in slightly and they feel a little bit more secure there however for what I would say is for extended amounts of time with that noise cancellation on it can get a little bit uncomfortable it can feel a bit like when you're on a plane and taking off your ears feel a bit blocked so there is an option within the app that comes with this to sort of relieve some of that pressure for years up and I would find myself using that sort of every hour-ish if I was using these for an extended period of time I would have to relieve that a little bit or just take them out put them back in that works as well I did also find myself using the hand gestures and it is fairly accurate I would say it does struggle a bit with sort of the double tap so you kind of have to tap it a little bit slower than I was expecting but it does work once you get the hang of it it's just a little bit different to how other headphones do it now I've never used some Samsung earbuds before so I'm not sure if that's something that people are used to with Samsung but it is different to how other earphones that I've used like on a choice ones the Realme Buds Q they sort of are a bit quicker um, but you have to tap these fairly slowly to actually to register but the touch sensitivity on that is actually very accurate and I don't actually think there was one time where I tapped it and nothing happened just sometimes when I would double tap it it would think I was single tapping it or vice versa in general though the quality of these is really good and the sound quality is awesome I really like the fact that inside the app you can customize the sort of equalizer and decide what you would like you can customize different options if you want that bass boost treble boost all that type of stuff and you can choose how you would like the sound to actually be I really really like that option there and that's something that I would really like to see across all earphones if possible because sometimes I feel like some headphones have that overwhelming bass or underwhelming bass in certain senses and I would like to be able to customize how the sound is so that's definitely a plus for these Buds Live I think they've done a great job in that also I don't use a Samsung primarily I primarily use an iPhone and I was happy to see that there was actually an app on the App Store for these Buds and I also did a little bit of research and you can get the same app across Android Samsung and Apple as long as you sort of have an iPhone 7 or up so you can use this across basically all platforms and that's something that you don't get with all types of headphones and that's something that I do like about the Samsung Buds Live. The cool quality is also really good I was worried that because of the way that they are there's no microphone on the stems again cool quality it wouldn't be too good I would say if you're in sort of a loud area or you're walking or it's windy that these aren't the best for cool quality just because the microphone is a little bit far away and a little bit tucked behind your head sort of so I would say that if you are going to do a call or you are going to record a video make sure you're in a quiet space or just pop them out. As I said the battery is fairly good on these I would say and they charge up very quick also they have that useful USB type C port here on the back which I do like Get a bit disappointed in some headphones that come with a micro USB port so I was glad to see that this came with a USB type C and also the overall quality of the case is very good and the quality of the device themselves is very high. I was very impressed with that. One of the major drawbacks though I would say is the price. Now I have seen other earpieces that have got similar sounds to these and similar functionalities such as the Huawei FreeBuds 3 have a bit of a lower price than these. I believe right now on Samsung's website for £179 which I think is a little bit high in this market right now and I do understand that this is a very premium product and they have very good functionality and compatibility however I know that the FreeBuds 3 for example are almost 60 pounds less and basically have all the functionality that the Samsung Buds Live do have so maybe the price is a little bit high but if you wait a bit Black Friday is coming up soon things like that I'm sure the price will drop and then these will be an absolute bargain for what they are because there is a lot of functionality 
within these earphones. And I haven't fully explored all the avenues because there is a lot and there's loads and loads of options you can choose from. And it is in some sense overwhelming the amount of choice, but I prefer to have a lot of choice than having a very limited selection. Overall though, these headphones have impressed me and I really, really like the design of them. That is the main component for me. I know they're a little bit different. I know they're a little bit out there, but I really like that they're different. And I really think this is a good step for Samsung and headphone manufacturer brands to do. Switch it up a little bit, change it. It might work, it might not, but at least there's a little bit of design work going into that and changing it slightly there. I would say I was a little bit dis disappointed with the driver size. These are only 12 millimeter in driver size and I know that is bigger than most. However, that is again smaller than, for example, the Huawei Freebuds 3. For the price, you're getting a smaller driver. However, this driver is supposed to be more refined and better. I personally did not notice any difference. I did actually think the sound quality was extremely good. However, I have seen some reviews online with people sort of saying that it's not as good as it could be. And I know I've been mentioning a lot about the Freebuds 3, and this is something that people have said to us. So we are gonna do a comparison with these Samsung Buds Live to the Freebuds 3, just because we feel like they are similar products with different pros and cons that basically deserve a comparison and we think would be very useful when people go to pick because they are very similar earphones. On the whole though, these are a solid nine out of 10 and I would recommend if the price drops for anyone to buy them, I would just say currently that they are a little bit high in price for me. That being said, a great product. Thank you guys very much for listening to my one week review. If you have any questions about them, please let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you. If you enjoyed this video and you like the style of video, make sure to hit that subscribe button below and we really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.